there. In this video tutorial, I'm going to share with you how to add connection request templates to the Lenet dashboard. The reason why you would do this is to save you time when you're trying to do connection requests by adding all sorts of templates and you can pick them uh, from the uh, pull down when you're trying to send the connection requests. All you need to do is uh, click on the Lenet Chrome extension icon and after that all you need to do is click on dashboard. Depending on the number of connections you have, the loading time might take a little longer. Uh, so you just have to wait a couple of seconds until the dashboard loads up. In order to add connection request templates, all you need to do is go to templates, then connection invitations. And in here, I've added a couple, but I want to show you the entire, the, all the options that are available. So you can add as many as you want. That's uh, the first thing that you need to remember. So if you can, if you want to A/B test different ones to see which ones respond better or convert better, this is a great way to do it by adding as many as you like. Uh, you can edit or you can delete them. So in this case, I'm going to delete that one just to show you that how it's done. In order to edit, you can just click on Edit. And please note that uh, this is a title that will not that describes the actual template, but is not something that will be visible by the actual uh, recipient. And this is the actual message that we added in. And there are 300 characters that you can use. To personalize it, you need to type in that code or by clicking on this icon wherever you want to place the personalization. And here's just a simple example, but I just, this is just uh, how to edit an existing one. I'll show you how to add one. So you click on add and you can type in anything you want to describe it and again you can add as many as you like so it's useful for A-B testing. And then you start typing away. Um, to personalize it all you need to do is click on that uh, button or type in that code exactly. It's easier to click on the button because sometimes you might get the, the, uh, the code wrong. And that code would actually replace be replaced with the person's first name. Um, I saw your profile and thought it would be worthwhile to connect. Regards, Martin. You can type in whatever you want, 300 characters. Then you click save and you'll see that it's available there. So that's it. That's all you need to do. Um, if you wanted to again delete or edit any of them, you can do so at any time. And don't forget that the personalization is by either typing in that code or clicking on the button. And there are all sorts of different uh, personalization options that will soon be available uh, to make uh, the message even more personal. If you have any questions, please don't hesitate to uh, contact us at support at and we'll be happy to help. You.